Hey guys, welcome to Ally Edge. So what I'm working on today is uh, the back fender of Vigilante. And once again, I'm working on this section here, but now I'm, I'm at the top part. So I'll start hand forming the pieces for that. And this is the drawing that Glenn Ridd, NZ Mopar Outlaw Customs drew me. Go check his channel out. Also go check out Iron Horse Garage. And uh, the piece that I'm working on right now, this is uh, the conduit that I used to shape to get, to build the buck. And you can see the buck right here, all made out of sheet metal. And that top piece is what I'm working on, which is about right here. I had to get close up on here because I'm uh, working on another project right now and it's right in the way. But anyways, so where I'm at is, I just uh, got this piece all welded on. And then I'm going from here to here this morning, trying to get this piece built. So I'll go ahead and start hammering that out. And it's gonna be kind of fast compared to my other videos because I wanna hurry up and get some uh, metal on these uh, bucks for the fenders so we can get this car going. So I cut 15 inch by 28 inch. You always wanna give yourself a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of uh, room to play around with because when you get the shape on these uh, fenders or a buck, usually when you pull that stretch on here, sometimes it'll go one way or the other and you'll end up coming up short and you'll have to add a little piece right here and that sucks. So I went way over and like I said, it's 28 by 15 is what I'm cutting. I'm using 20 gauge sheet metal because I have people to ask all the time. <clears throat> so if I stay right in the center of this, hammering, I should be all right. So this is a cap off of a welding torch tank, like an ex oxygen acetylene tank, whatever. And uh, this, this shape right here is what I'm gonna be using, but I wouldn't mind making another one with a little bit different shape. So, so I'll either shape it on here or I'll shape it on uh, the shrinking stump. We'll see what happens. So I need a lot more shape right in the middle <clears throat> where this section is here. So I'll work on that. <clears throat> when I get it close, I'll do the same thing I did on this one. 
I'll cut it and then I'll, I'll on the edges, I'll use my shrinker stretcher. So I'll go ahead and uh, keep hammering on this thing. Now, in my opinion, it's better to uh, to use the shrek stretcher or shrinker just a little bit. And I'm gonna use the uh, shrinker. I'm gonna shrink the material so it's gonna pinch it together right here. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me my shape that I need. And then I'll put it on the English wheel, but it's better to shrink it or stretch it just a little bit. Try it on your panel or your buck. And uh, you know, just keep doing that over and over until you get it right. Uh, if not, you can overstretch it, over shrink it, or whatever. <clears throat> shape into it a little bit so I can get closer to, the, to where my edges need to be. starting to give me that shape that I'm starting to go with what, that I need with need on the panel <clears throat> so the next thing I'll do is I'll run it in the English wheel for a bit matter of seconds you've got a completely smooth panel just by doing that and when I was running this through there you'll notice that I'm pushing down like this that's also going to give me a little bit of radius or shape that I want instead of pulling it straight back like this so when I'm going forward I'm going up like this when I'm coming back I'm going like this
Now you can see the panel's almost flat, but if you put a straight edge on here, I'm willing to bet that it's starting to curve down just a little bit. Yeah, you can see it. I don't think you can see that in the camera though. And then obviously, you know, you have it curved this way also. So it's curving this way and this way, and then it's curving this way and this way. And that's that shape that we're trying to go for. And uh, the next thing we'll do is I'll have to uh, tuck shrink and start pulling this panel so that it starts uh, getting that real hard radius that's on that, that buck. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll come in here and I'll tuck shrink all these edges here, flip it around, and same thing here. But one of the tricks that I've never seen anybody ever use, I've never seen any of this on TV or any shows or anything like that, is uh, you know, to get a quick shape, you know, I was showing you that panel's almost flat right now, it's got a little bit of a radius, but you can take your shrinking stump, it's gotta be a pretty wide radius though, and you can lay it on there, push it around real hard, And you'll, all, you'll, you'll start getting shape in it like that, just by doing the same thing. And it's pushing the center crown up right here, but at the same time, you can see it's pulling that around. And you just gotta keep working it like that. But uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll start tuck shrinking right here. <clears throat> now by doing that on the stump like I was showing you, you can get a really hard, quick, fast radius on there, or shape on there so that you start forming this around that shape. And uh, it's not oil canning or nothing like that, so it's not popping back. You see that, and you push on your chest. But now you can put like this and start getting, you know, striving your lines with a Sharpie on the backside of this to get, because the more you take off of this right here, the easier it starts to get where that shape starts coming into this panel a lot better. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'll get this clamp anywhere that I can and just kind of half-ass clamp it where it, it's kind of close. And then on the back side, you want to give yourself a good inch all the way around and just cut this panel to where it's kind of close. And then when I go and do my tuck shrinking, it'll really help to uh, really bring that shape in. And then that's when that panel really starts to take shape on the buck. Oops. It'll really start, start to take shape on the buck next by doing that. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So off camera, I went ahead and trimmed this edge with a grinder and uh, cleaned it up just so it wasn't boring. But uh, you can see now that it's starting to fit a lot better just from doing that. You know, take, it's almost like it relieves it when you take that big chunk off on the outside. And that's what I was talking about. You get it close, the closer you get it, and then I'll have to cut it one more time. But the closer you get it, the better it'll start fitting. Now I got a really bad low spot right here, really bad low spot right here. So I'll do some hammering here and some hammering here and uh, put it back on the English wheel and check it out to see what it looks like. And then in the meantime, right before I get ready to fit this, I'm gonna need to uh, tuck shrink all these, these edges again or put them on the shrinker. On this panel right now, the way it's fitting, I might be able to do it on the shrinker. It's not too bad. I will. We'll have to check it out. But. Uh, We'll go ahead and do some more hammering and go from there. So on this panel now, I used this hammer earlier and that's to uh, get a big round spot lifted. And I just have some smaller, panel, uh, smaller parts on this panel that need to be lifted. And when I say lifted, I'm talking about crown. So I'll go ahead and uh, work on these a little bit. And I'm using the uh, smaller, this is a Harbor Freight Hammer. And it's just a, uh, you know, a plastic, uh, what do they call it? Like a poly hammer.
Now you can see by doing that, I started straightening that panel out again because I'm stretching it again. So it's actually straightening it. So I need to go back to the shrinker and shrink this edge from, from <clears throat> probably from here to here. And on the other side, right around this radius like this, you know, shrink, shrink, shrink. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring that panel this way. Because like I try to tell people, it's, it's easy to take a piece of metal and bend it this way. Now take that same piece of metal and bend it the other way. Well, that's what you're doing with that, that shrinker or stretcher, whatever way you wanna go with it, you know? Now what I was saying earlier is once you take that extra two or three inches off the edge of this panel that you're building, now when I go to shrink it, you're really gonna see the panel move and it'll move a lot faster, so you gotta be real careful now. And the reason for that is because there's not so much material that you're trying to shrink. see it coming on now. Now it's starting to fit nice as far as the radius or the shape of the buck. The next thing we're gonna have to do is we'll have to put this on the shrinking stump and start hammering right here to get some tuck shrinks. The shrinker worked a little bit, but we'll have to, it's the same thing as if you were to take a grinder right here and cut and cut and cut, what's that panel gonna do? That panel's gonna go like this as you cut, cut, cut because you're taking material away from it. Or if you were to cut little triangles into it and bring that triangle together, it's the same thing as what I'm doing with a tuck shrink. You're taking that metal, and instead of shrinking it just a little bit, you're shrinking it a whole bunch with a tuck shrink. And with the shrinker, the, the foot pedal shrinker that I was just using, you're only going like a 16th of an inch, you know, each, each piece. So you're only doing it a little bit. But looking at this right now, the way it's sitting on there, it needs to go a lot more. Sorry about the crappy camera work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, finish up this video today. I'm gonna get out of here. Holy crap, man. I'm screwing up this camera work bad. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna finish up this video and get out of here because I don't want these videos to be long. I want this, uh, no wonder I'm yelling. <clears throat> I want this to be a series where we show uh, each and every step of building a car by hand. Uh, from each panel, fenders, hoods, doors, whatever. And I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, series. I appreciate you watching. And we'll do the tuck shrinking and fitting this panel on the next video. And that'll be on the next Sunday. Really appreciate you guys watching and all the support on the channel. Please hit subscribe, like, and all that happy crap. I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.